Hello fans and viewers, I am live. My name is Ruku, you join me for another beer review. And uh, a special beer review at that because this is a beer that uh, I got recommended to me only just last week. And I managed to get this relatively quickly. Don't ask me how, I'm guessing a stroke of luck. This then is called Perla Midawa. I think that's how you pronounce it, which translates to Perla with honey. So this is a honey beer um, from Poland, if you hadn't already guessed. Um, Perla has a few beers and I've got a few more different Perlas coming up very, very soon. Um, so stay tuned for those. Um, but here we go, this is a 500 mil. And this is at 6%, I don't know if you can just see that. So quite a strong beer, you know, typical Polish, like their strong beer. So do I, so fits the bill for me. You've got the classic sign there. Um, so yeah, can't wait to try this. Had a little look on uh, some sites just to see what people were saying about this, because obviously I'm a bit skeptical with honey beers, and it hasn't had that great reviews. People are saying that, you know, it's not all that good. Um, but I'm just going to dismiss all that I've seen on there, and I'm going to try this myself. And there's the cap for all you fans out there, if anyone uh, collects caps or are interested in caps for whatever reason. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Right, okay fans, just bear me two seconds, I've got a lot of noise coming. That's better, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that, well, I was saying there's a cap for you know collectors or people that just generally like the artwork. Symbolises the word perla, honey, um, and then the little buck thing, you know. So yeah, very cool indeed. All right, first appearances. <laughs> Striking gold colour, as you'd expect from a beer made with honey. Carbonation's good, and although the head doesn't lick it now, believe you and me, that was fantastic. I had this thing, this head was this big originally and obviously I had to let it settle and now it's diminished but believe you me the head was massive and I mean massive but there you go, give you a close up view there and a little bit of lacing already and haven't even drunk any yet carbonation, slow, steady but yeah, just striking colour, I really do love that colour, that is just perfect, love it Right then, fans, let's get on with the smell. It, it, it doesn't really smell of anything just other than sweet malt. Um, not really getting nothing else, really, so I'm just going to delve straight in with a taste. That's different. Mm. Okay. Very sweet is what I've got first of all. Um, definitely taste the honey despite what people are saying that you can't taste the honey. You can, but to me. I believe, and I'm a little bit suspect here, that there could be something else added to that, whether it's more sugar or maybe a syrup, but it's very sweet. You get um, a hot bitterness, so sweet first, then hot bitterness, and the body is just smooth, slightly watery, surprisingly, for a Polish beer. I mean, usually they've got heavier bodies, but this is a very light-bodied beer for a 6% beer anyway. Yeah, I'm very surprised at this. This could get incredibly Moorish fans. Seriously, that is sliding down way too easy. Way, way too easy. Lacing's very good. 
maintaining decent uh, head all the way down. Um, yeah, very light bodied, very watery, carbonation again very smooth, you don't really get the carb coming through at all, which I believe is quite nice for a beer of this style. Um, I'm also getting more sweetness from the honey as you, as you go, so on the aftertaste as well. Aftertaste is just honey, that little pop bitterness on the tongue, very refreshing, it's, it just leaves you with a mild honey aftertaste, which I like. <coughs> it isn't too sweet and it isn't too sickly. And I think they've got the perfect balance between body and honey, uh, because a lot of sweeter beers, such as honey beers, fruit beers, have a tendency to overdo the sweetness, and it's mostly dominated just by an overpowering sickliness. And uh, I'm proud to say you don't actually get this with this beer, so well done. Well done indeed. Can't read it, but it's all in Polish. Um, don't know even remotely what it says. But there it is for anyone who can read Polish. Um, but all, all I do know is that um, it's very, very nice. Very nice. Um, I know a little bit about Perla. I know Perla translates to Pearl. And I also know that there are a few styles of Perla out there. I only know three. Uh, Perla Midowa. You've got Perla Mokna. And Perla Pils. Um, so they're the only three that I'm aware of. I know there's more. Um, but I do have the Mokna and Pils. As you know, tell a lie. I have the Pils one coming up later, so uh, do check on my channel for that as well. That will come later on. But uh, again, I feel that this beer is... It's got a bad rep for what it is. I think this deserves a bit more credit, if I'm being brutally honest. The flavours are very basic, but it is a basic beer. I just can't believe, for a 6% beer, how watery this actually is. This is watery, but it's just so sweet, and it's very Moorish. I'm quite annoyed at myself now that I didn't buy more bottles of this. I should have bought some more bottles of this, because this is, this is good. I'm uh, glad I got recommended this beer. There you go, there's the head working bubbles nicely. Head's a bit more whiter. And that's what I like to see, a nice white head. You know, you can see that that is a, a pure beer, you can see. My hands for it. Striking colour. Yeah, it could be a little bit better on the taste. I think there should be more flavour there. Although, again, I'm not going to argue, it's a honey, honey made beer. Of course you're going to taste the honey in it, which I'm glad you do. But I think there should just be a little bit more other than just a hot bitterness and honey. You know, it's the typical bitter and sweet. I just want to see something else there. But, uh, do you know what? Can't argue. This is a little hidden gem. You know, I'm surprised not more, not more people have found this, but uh, I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I got recommended it as well. I absolutely love it. Too dangerous, though couple of these and you will get smashed um, so drink wisely fans and don't do anything I wouldn't do I think this food pars would go quite well with things like um, I don't know maybe like a cheese or um, I don't know something a bit more starchy like maybe some crisps or uh, if you're American potato chips um, things like that really so yeah I think um, good all round beer that could go with a lot of different foods um, but you know do take your time on this because it's it's uh, it's definitely one to uh, not underestimate shall we say drink it quick <whistles> you'd soon know about it and I'm finding it hard not to drink this quick <coughs> where's my burp sign of good beer fans <coughs> love it What would I rate Perla Medawa? Well, that's easy, that's a 9.5. So that's a 9.5 out of 10. Wouldn't give it a 10 because it just needs a little bit more flavour there. Although the flavours are good, they're basic, it does the job. It does exactly what it says on the bottle. 
So other than that, nine off. Um, I'll say in my eyes, that's a respectable score. So one unperler. Uh, keep the work up, and I hope we see some more delicious beers from your brewery. Hopefully soon. That's how good I think it is. Very rare that I finish a beer on these reviews, but when I do, it means they're bloody exceptional. Look at that. Spot strips, drab, fantastic all the way. You can't say fair on that, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. Perla Medawa, or Perla with honey. Nine and a half out of ten. Join me next time, fans. And don't forget... Send these videos to your friends, your family, or any beer lovers out there. And like, comment, and subscribe. Because I want to see more subscribers, all the true beer lovers. Thanks for watching. Join me next time.